Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon, just in case you don't know. If you're new here, welcome. So today I thought I would create a look using this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow. It's the new one that just came out. Um, it is called Nyctophilia or something like that. But this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's like blurry or not. It's really nice and sparkly. I am thinking that this is very comparable to the Steel and Magnificent Metals. So yeah, you guys probably saw this in my haul the other day, but this is them. Um, I'm going to be doing a look using those, so stay tuned for that. One is a black with like a multi, I think it's like a multiple color glitter, I'm not 100% sure, and then the other one is Kitten Karma. Anyway, back to the Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. Um, so yeah, I'm going to create a look using this purple on my eyelids today. Um, I'm just going to start with my eyes first. I've already done my brows as you can see and I've already moisturized and now I'm going to be using this um, Rimmel Long Lasting 25 Hour Foundation. I really like it. It's um, really hydrating. It doesn't dry my skin out at all. It doesn't look dry on my skin. And I've been using a sponge. Um, still haven't washed my brush yet. I've been really like not with it you guys. I'm just like when it comes to beauty I'm just like whatever lately. I don't know why. But I'm trying to get out of my funk. I colored my hair today. You guys can probably tell because like I always have that like little bit of redness by my hairline. <laughs> but this is the um, Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, just in case you're wondering if you don't know. Some of you know, some of you may not. As you can see, I did say that I wasn't going to be doing my foundation until I did my eyes, but I'll do the foundation. I just won't do my under eye concealer until I'm done. Okay, so now that the foundation is done, I'm just going to like not do the concealer under my eyes or anywhere else. I'm just going to do the eyes and then I will be able to clean up underneath with a wipe and use the concealer if I need to. I'm not really worried about down here because my eyeshadow doesn't usually get on my face down here anyways. It's usually just underneath the eyes so it's no big deal. Okay, so I am going to however use concealer on my eyelids because I do use my concealer to prime my eyelids to give it a nice clean canvas <laughs> and then I'm going to set it with my Cody Airspun is it upside down? yeah no it's my Cody Airspun setting powder I'm going to use the Take Me Back to Brazil palette today again, by the way. I just recently did like a really colorful look, but there's a specific purple in here that I really want to use to go with this. So yeah, that's why I'm going to use this palette. They have, uh, um, yeah, there's only two. I thought there was three, but they, there's only two purples right here, but I'm going to be using these two purples to create this look. And let me see. I think I'm going to use this really light pink here as a transition color just to get things going. So now I'm going to go in with this lighter purple at the bottom. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to be using this lighter purple. I'm a mess, you guys. My palette's like flopping all over the place, and ugh. Actually, I forgot about this shade right here, so I'm going to be using this shade.
Sorry you guys, I should have told you that I'm using this pink right here. It's kind of like a fuchsia sort of color and I'm just adding that to the top portion. And I'm using the very pale pink to soften, soften up the edges. I can't even talk today, my goodness. You see what I mean, you guys? I'm just like brain dead. It looks kind of terrible, to be honest with you right now, but once we get it all cleaned up and all that good stuff, it will look much better. I just used this white that came in the palette right there just to blend out a little bit more on the edges up here. And now I'm going to go back into this purple right here. And deepen up the crease a little. Now I'm going to go into this really dark purple right here using my Rowan Lang Nickel VMX430 and I'm just going to take that in the outer V I just want to really just deepen up the outer V portion Okay, so here's the test. I'm going to be using this Nectophilia, I believe it's called, all over the lid. I'm going to go out and do the other eye just like this, and I'll be right back with you guys. So next I'm going to be taking this light purple right here, and I'm going to be putting that into the lash line. And as usual, I forgot to do the concealer underneath my eyes. I like to try to do that before I put anything in the lash line. But for some reason, I always seem to forget. Okay, so now I'm just going to set the concealer with my Cody Airspun. Okay guys, so I went off camera and I finished my eyes. I put some lashes on. I put some black eyeliner on the waterline and tight line and mascara and then I put some lipstick and I did my contour and my blush and all of that so yeah this is the completed look I hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video I love you guys bye